you want to build a back that creates that coveted hourglass physique? Of course you do. And the way to do that is you're going to row, row, row your way to success. Now, why do we like the rows? Just like the push up, which is our pre preferred upper body pushing movement, you can take these with you when you go. You can get a suspension trainer system. Uh, people have adapted different types of ropes or uh, like gi belts. There's all sorts of tools that we can use. We're going to list those in the comments. Check those out. We're going to start our row with what we call our power posture. This is keeping my ear, shoulder, hips, and ankles in alignment. If you're not familiar with how to do that with awesome tight core tension, check out our other video, which is linked below. When Annie starts this movement, she's going to maintain her power posture, and we're gonna come into the leaning tower of Pisa. As she comes back, nope, do it right first. <laughs> she's ahead of the game. As she comes back in that down position, so get all the way in the ne uh, negative position, as you can see, her plank is still nice and aligned. Her abs are tight, she's braced for a punch. She's not coming in the banana hammock. Do one and do one wrong. Pull, yep, right there. Banana hammocks are not good, right? I think we can all agree on that, except for the weirdos that don't. Okay, so we're making sure that our plank, our power posture is always intact. As she pulls, in this position, go ahead and come back in the, neg in the negative. In this position, it doesn't matter what her hands are gonna do. It's whatever's gonna make you feel strongest in your back. As she pulls, however, though, show us how the pull should finish. Her hands are gonna go up and down. Straight vertical like that's gonna allow her to row deeper and really tighten her lats. If she keeps them, do one wrong where you keep them facing each other. If she does it like that, she's not gonna get her lats as tight as possible. Now, as she gets progressed with this, she's been doing these every week on the Amazing 12, so she's super strong. She's gonna walk this way. Walk this way to success. You're gonna get closer to where you're hanging your suspension straps from, and that, as you can already see, is gonna be a lot tighter, a lot tougher. Go for it, hit a couple reps. She's using more of her body weight, which increases the exercise difficulty. Program this through our app. Oh, last one last thing. Show us how not to use our head. So as you can see, she's got really good posture. Yep, pull. A lot of people start to do the chicken head, the chicken neck. Never good, regardless of who you're asking. You wanna make sure that your head is maintaining right over your shoulders and that your neck is loose. If you have a hard time with the power posture, show us what we can do in the beginning to build up our tension and our plank. We're gonna make our power posture, our vertical plank tighter by using the thigh master and crushing something between our legs, our thighs, and that's gonna help increase that. Do you feel a lot more tension right there? Right, so we use this in the beginning as a cue. We get what that sensation feels like, and then we try to uh, assimilate it on our own into the movement. All right, stay strong, see you next time.